This spring, I had the chance of a lifetime. I was given a really cool tour of Puesta del Sol, a net zero building in my school district, Bellevue. Puesta is a green building and green building is a system. Today, we're going to look at one element of this system. Energy efficiency through radiant heating. There are three types of radiant heating, radiant air floor, electric radiant floors, and the most popular, the one that Puesta uses, hot water or hydronic radiant floors. Not only is radiant heating one of the most comfortable and effective forms of heating, but it's more efficient than air heating, uses little electricity, and operates silently. The only downside is the high installation cost. Hydronic heating systems consist of flooring with tubes running back and forth every few inches, submerged in a slab of concrete. To be energy and cost efficient, radiant heating's implementation is limited to spaces that are served really well by this style of heating. The front vestibule and theater are two of these spaces. They are big spaces with high ceilings, and people aren't in these rooms very often. These spaces have different heating needs from classrooms, and that makes them perfect for radiant heating. Let me explain. Radiant heating works because of a concept called thermal radiation. All matter at a temperature higher than absolute zero has some thermal energy, meaning there is random movement of atoms and molecules. From this random movement, electromagnetic, or thermal, radiation is generated. This energy travels in waves out from the tubes, to the concrete, to the humans in the space above, warming them up. You've probably seen this before if you've ever had a pet lizard. They love sitting on those heated rocks, and to be fair, we humans do too. Instead of inefficiently heating these big open spaces with heat pumps, like the rest of the building, radiant heating heats the ground exactly where heat needs to be for everyone to feel comfortable. As long as staff and students at Puesta know how radiant heating works and allow the thermostat temperature to dip, in these spaces, energy is saved. Today, we looked at one small part of green building, but Puesta isn't alone. What's happening here matters to my school district. When I go to the Bellevue School District website, I see their sustainability policy. Bellevue is one of the first districts in Washington to have a sustainability policy. Green building is also important to my city, Bellevue. When I go to my city's website, I see this pie chart. Energy use in buildings is half the problem, but we have a whole plan to solve it. My city is part of a climate alliance with 18 other cities called K4C. Look it up. Bonus fact, concrete is the perfect material for radiant heating because it retains heat for such a long time. This means it can be heated up during the night when energy is less expensive and stay warm for the rest of the day.